Tell me this, what do you get when you combine Action Menu, Text Expander, and Swipe? Well, you get this right here. It's called KB Shortcuts, and this is probably one of the most practical, handy, most awesomest jailbreak tweaks I've seen in quite some time. This thing is just amazing, and you're gonna be blown away by what I'm about to show you. Now, to use KB Shortcuts, all you need to do is use your spacebar to swipe from the spacebar to a particular key, and those keys all correspond to certain actions, as you'll see here. And let me just hop over and watch what happens when I swipe from the spacebar to the question mark. That actually invokes a help menu, and that actually shows all the different commands that are available using the swipe from the space key to that particular key. As you can see, you have the help, you have uh, set reset, disable KB shortcuts, insert email, select all, set bookmark, copy, duplicate, end, end of document, search, go to, beginning of document, line up, previous character, line down, next character, next word, previous word, toggle, overwrite, end of line, start of line, replace. Oh, the list goes on and on and on and on. And then not only that, but you also have these customizable quick text options and this allows you to have like a text expander sort of functionality where you can quickly expand text but this time you don't actually have to type in text you just swipe in text i'm going to show you how this works here now so let me just give you a quick example now i'm going to copy the word loyal by swiping from space to c as you see there and then i'm going to go down a little bit here to the to this line and swipe from space to v and paste just like that so it's like action menu meet swipe. It's, it's awesome. Let me show you how you can uh, actually cut. So I'm gonna, let's go over to our X and space to X this time. All right, so I'm gonna cut loyal and then watch me paste it back in, space to V, loyal back in there. Pretty awesome. All right, so let me show you some other commands here. Let's go back to our help menu, space to question. Let's find something else here. Um, Let's see, what do we want to do? Hmm. Let's look for so much to choose from here. Let's just, yeah, let's just uh, select loyal here and then let's select all. Let me just cut all of that out of there. Let's just delete all of that. Now watch what happens. I can actually undo, control Z, undo functionality. Yes, undo functionality on the iPhone. That is right there is makes this worth it itself. So. I mean, that is just awesome to have undo functionality. So now let's try a find. Uh, you do a space to F. Let's look for loyal. And let's do a search. And bam, there it is, folks. Loyal found using the space to F swipe. Um, that's pretty easy. Now you also have some other functionality here. Let's look up something else to try out. Let's try a bookmark. That looks cool. So let's put our cursor up here next to the and control or space V. And that sets a temporary bookmark and then swipe from space to G to return to that bookmark. So let's go down here to make sure we're way out of the way and then space, let's just type some more stuff and then space to G and then go to bookmark just like that. So let's tap go to bookmark and bam, there we are right at our bookmarked location. This is KB shortcuts folks. This is an awesome, awesome tweak. Um, so let's open up our help menu again. Let's now what I also really like about this, you can actually go to um, the end of line or start of line with just a swipe. So if you space to P, that's the end of line and space to Q, the start of line It's very, it just makes sense uh, considering those Q and P are opposite of each other, just like that. So what about character? Now that's one big flaw of the iPhones, you know, you know, copy and paste system of the character, trying to get your cursor position in the right character. Well, if you do space to J, you see how you can move individual characters. So what does this mean? Well, you no longer have to wrestle with this stupid magnifying glass to position your cursor in just the right place. You know how difficult that could be sometimes? No, you can actually move individual characters using space to J or space to L. Unprecedented, folks. Very, very, very awesome. So let me show you the settings app for KB Shortcuts. Here you can actually set up text expander like quick text. So instead of expanding text by what you type, you expand text by what you swipe. And as you can see, these all correspond to the number keys on your keyboard. So let me just give you a brief demonstration. Let's open up our notes app again and let's pull up our iPhone's keyboard. Let's enable the number pad and space to one. Check me out on YouTube. See? expands text just that easy and space to two shameless plug if you like this video subscribe to my channel and let's try another one here space to three shout out to isam the developer of this week just a little bit of backstory 
I had reviewed another one of his tweets called uh, double at, and that allowed you to expand text using the at key, expand your email address using the at key on your keyboard. And I was like, well, man, this could actually be something. You might have something here. You, what about expanding multiple items using um, you know, keyboard shortcuts? I didn't hear anything from him for a while, so I figured maybe he just forgot about it. But then he surprises me with this thing, KB shortcuts, which is far and above anything that I could have ever requested. Um, so that's just a little backstory. This is awesome. And I like to say that I had a little part in it, at least. Now, the child lock allows you to uh, to disable uh, the swiping from space to keys. Uh, you actually have to hold on a key to enable that. As you can see, if you just swipe quickly, it doesn't work. But if you hold for a second on the key that you swipe from, it actually works. So that's the child lock kind of prevents accidental swipes. So folks, that is KB Shortcuts. As you can see, it's in beta mode. It's not released just yet, but it will be shortly. Uh, it will be $2.99 upon release. Uh, this is a game changer, folks. What can I say? It makes using the iPhone a lot easier. Uh, and it's just super practical. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.